Welcome to a quick demo of the tunes.ai app. Now, first thing I want to show you is our build a character feature, which is super exciting, never been done before. So here, what you can do is you can first choose a male or a female. So let's say I want to choose a male, I click proceed. Here, to the left, as you can see, I can change different elements. So I can, first of all, change the a head, the actual jawline, the actual look of it. As you can see here, I quickly change the jawline like so. If I like it, then I go to the next stage here, which is the hair. As you can see here, and I can change the hairstyles to whatever I desire. This looks nice, I'll do that. And then I can also change the different tones here. As you can see, I can add mustaches, beards, goatees, and that sort of thing. So let's say I like this goatee here. Then I can add uh, no styles here, as you can see, uh, very powerful. Again, gives you that extra customization options. And then, of course, you can also change the eye and the eye colors and that sort of thing. Uh, to whatever you desire, including the eyebrows as well. So you can play around with that as well until you're satisfied. So I like this one, you can even change the skin tone and that sort of thing. And then next thing, you, uh, there is also the t-shirts and clothing and sweaters. You could add different elements here, as you can see. You can just click on it and then automatically adjust itself. I could add a sweater, I could add uh, different clothing styles like a chef or a doctor's clothing or uh, maybe a dentist or whatever it might be outdoors type of wear for example like a west like this jackets and that sort of thing i could do that i could add beach wear uh, basically i can add pants like so i you know whatever i want to do right and i basically can also change the shoes to whatever i like so let's say i want to change the shoe color i could do that and of course you can also add glasses or if you will, you could add hats and that sort of thing as well, uh, up to you. And this is fully customizable across the board and it'll be taken over. In this case, I can add sunglasses or just general glasses as well. And then I can add that in as well. And of course, I could add if you want, if you want to add any kind of masks or you want to add headphones or uh, earbuds or ear pods or something like that, you can add that in too for certain particular projects of yours. Once you're happy with it, just click on the save character and done. It will automatically start creating the character with 60 plus different gestures and animations. Once you add a character, it's ready to be used into your projects. Like so you can resize every element of this uh, right here. You can make them bigger, smaller, whatever you want. And also you can add actions. If for example, you want them to use uh, basically riding a bicycle or a bike, motorbike or whatever, you can start adding them in like so right out of the gate or you can adjust things as you see fit here like you see and then it'll automatically uh, get set up for those scenes accordingly so there's a full-fledged timeline editor as you can see in the bottom right here with different layers so you have layer one layer two layer three and you can basically adjust the layers accordingly and that'll give you infinite possibilities so you could add text elements for example if i added a, a text element here as you can see i could add that in and that becomes a completely different layer so effectively you have multiple options and choices to play around with with this timeline editor which is fully flexible you can hide certain elements so for example that text I just added if I just click on this little eye icon right here I can automatically adjust it and I can hide it so it doesn't even show up uh, or I can lock that track and I can make changes to specific tracks I can crop I can edit I can move things around there's a lot of different opportunities that I have and flexibilities that I get when you have a multi-track timeline editor like this just fully flexible and fully customizable from your end. There's multiple ways to get started. I'm gonna first show you the template mode, which is the fastest mode to get started, where you can actually pick from different aspect ratios. You can have mobile vertical videos, square videos, this is for Instagram or Pinterest or some of the other social media platforms like LinkedIn, or you can even just go standard uh, actual uh, landscape mode as well. So if you can pick any one of them, there's all these ready-made templates that are pre-built for you. So you can pick whichever one you like. There's Mother's Day, you can just click on it and you can start editing it, customizing it, ready to go, ready, easy. All the layers are set up, all the tracks are set up and all the other elements are set up for you. All you have to do, if you wish, you wanna add a voiceover to this, you can do that. Or you want to add background music, you can do that, up to you. There's different choices and you can get up and running. And towards your right, if you can see here, there are multiple scenes here. So you could literally add your own scene by clicking on this add scene button. And that way you can adjust things because every scene might be different. So let's say for example, if I wanted to add a different person into a scene, see I added a third person into the scene here, you could do that. So that way you can add different 
additional voices to that particular scene. So for example, if I click on this add speech button, I can add a text to speech voiceover for it, as you can see here. So I can do that too, for example, and I can apply that and this will get applied only to this particular scene, which in this case, as you can see to the right is scene number three. Right, so you can do that with the scenes set up as well, which gives you customizations for every individual scene and you can add as many of these scenes as you wish. Next, you have the AI content writer where you can click on it and go in and you can basically have the AI write your script content for you that you can later translate into text to speech. So go in here and click generate and then automatically, in this case, I put five best Mother's Day gift ideas for my viral YouTube video. So I wanted to create a viral YouTube video style Mother's Day gift idea script for me. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this script converted into a text-to-speech voiceover for my video. So in this case, all I have to do, this is created, I just click on copy, right? Or I can just uh, select everything and right-click and copy up to me whatever you want to do. And then basically you can go in here, add new speech. Okay, you can do that, for example, and then you right click and paste and then you can go in and you can pick which style you want, male, female, uh, which language and all that kind of good stuff. And then you can click generate voiceover. So now what's going to happen is it's going to generate that voiceover for me specifically for this particular project for this particular video, rather the fly and now I can basically just add this into media and then I can then add this into my timeline as well. Alternatively, I can also record voice over to the right as you can see and record my own voice. If, for example, if I go click here, I click on it and then I click start. These are five Mother's Day gift ideas that is known to bring a smile to any mother out there. Click save to uploads, okay, success. And then all I have to do is just go in add speech and then I just click on apply and then it's going to get added in here as you can see here to my bottom right here. You can also add pre-built scenes. So if you just go in here and you just click on the add scene button, you have a blank slate here if you want to add any scenes here like what you see here and then you can go in and you can adjust these scenes according to whatever you like. So for example, if I want to add this scene in, I just click on it, I click OK and the scene gets added. I can then change this character. So I could change this character. So for example, I could delete this person and then I can go back in here and I can add any other actual person as well. I go into the character. Let's say I want to add her in here. I can add her in, I could add different actions here. Let's say, for example, now she is in here. So she's traveling, let's say for Mother's Day or maybe she's having a heart here. So you could add these in here as well. You can basically transform her like so. You can also click on the colors and change her coat color or, or, or dress color like so or anything you wish like what you see here. And on top of that, you can also add transitions. So transitions tab, if you go in to one of the earlier tabs as well, I wanna show you here, you can add transitions. So you can set a transition like so, and then you could add arrow move, arrow right, circle, tunnel, square, and stuff like that. And then that element that you wanted to have that transition will appear in that, set, in that basic transition. So when you play this, there you go. She moved in with that transition as you can see here. So you can add transitions like this or you can add text effects like this, for example. And you can also add your own custom background. So I have some animated backgrounds here as you can see. So I just add this background in here and it's fully animated as you can see here. And you can animate her as well as you already know. She starts walking and that sort of thing. So you can add that in as well. You can upload your own images that's available, stock footage, your own images, your own assets and that sort of thing. Any animated uh, videos that you wanna do, you can add them in here as well. And on top of that, you can also add shapes and different elements. For example, you wanna add uh, certain quotes or hearts and that sort of thing. You can also add them in here. Uh, you can add bubbles and that sort of thing and you can add them into the project and they all get added in as a different layer so you can if you change your mind you don't like it you can undo it as well so you, you can click on the undo button or you can even redo it and you can put the redo button so the under redo buttons are also available for you now let's create a project from scratch let's go to create let's go to click on horizontal video and then i'm going to show you really quickly how we can quickly do it let's say i want to create a real estate video i just use uh these assets here so this one is for scene number uh two and then this one is for scene number one. I'm gonna put this one in here. 
for example and then right here if I want to add my own backgrounds here so let me go in here and click add add my own scenes here that's already pre-built for me uh, this one right here so I'll add this in here and you can change things across the board by the way so at, a, at any point in time so if you don't like a scene you can delete that as well so this one comes in here and then you can change things here which is ready to go and then also any text-to-speech voiceover that was created from the AI content script that we created before, like using this, for example, uh, you can just create the script using the AI content script. So I can just say, for example, it's going to start creating the script. I'm just going to copy this script and then I can just, I could add new speech and just paste this and create the text-to-speech voiceover or my own voice if I wish. Once we are done, we can just publish it. And let me show you an example video. It's gonna say, do you wanna start render? I'm gonna start creating it in just a few minutes. Your video will be done. There's gonna be a progress bar that's gonna show up and automatically that progress bar is gonna start creating that video for you. So as you can see here, it's in queue. So let's go to my videos, ready to download. There you go. See this? All the animations, everything is ready to go, ready to rock and boom, 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 right? So easy, so straightforward. You can create videos like this in just a few minutes. And you can start charging just like these people on Upwork.com and other freelancers out there, not only for your own personal purposes, but also you can use it to sell to clients as well. So as you can see here, this person is selling a 30 second video for $899. Uh, this person is selling for $1,000 right here. This person is selling for $850. This person is selling for $800. And if you notice something interesting, all of them take 14 days to deliver a 60 second clip or 30 second clip and that sort of thing. In this case, 21 days for $950 right here. And running time is just 30 seconds as you can see here. This is the true power of tunes.ai, which is gonna allow you to create videos in mere minutes that's taking even a professional with the years of experience, at least a week to do. So I hope you started using tunes.ai and start enjoying using the application. Go click on the button below to get started right away.